Hey guys, Jay! Welcome back to the channel. So guys, just ahead of Yojo June, we're finding out that two, at least two, leaks have happened right now, thanks to our good friend Chaz the Guru on Instagram. Guys, definitely give Chaz the Guru a like and a follow. Tell him that Jay sent you. Let's take a deep dive to this, guys. And if you enjoyed this type of content, please consider subscribing to the channel. I post up to two episodes a week, and I hope you guys enjoy. And don't forget to hit that bell notification so you guys will always know when new episodes are posted. Guys, without further ado, let's find out what was leaked thanks to Chaz the Guru on Instagram for Yojo June ahead of tomorrow's pre-orders. Let's have a look. I want to give a huge shout out to Chaz the Guru who gave us this heads up on this. Chaz is a good friend of the channel and he is the meme master. Guys, definitely head over to Chaz the Guru's site on IG. Check out his memes and of course everything about G.I. Joe as well as other toy collectibles. He is amazing. Today, Chaz sent us this brand new reveals for the G.I. Joe Yojo June celebration happening tomorrow. And it looks like he's got the scoop on some wonderful figures being announced tomorrow and don't forget guys that Chaz the Guru was the one to report on this first if you don't believe me check the time codes anyone who says otherwise is behind the game I've got to tell you so guys definitely head over to Chaz the Guru on Instagram give him a like and a follow tell him that Jay sent you one hour ago Chaz the Guru sent me these awesome pictures of the new reveals and pre-orders for tomorrow's Yojo June celebration let's take a deep dive into this guys because this this is absolutely amazing guys it looks like Robert Grunt Graves is on the pre-order list for tomorrow this was reported earlier in the afternoon by Shark news who announced that at least three figures will be available for pre-order much the same way as they were in last week's yojo june the first being grunt the second being low light and the third being a very interesting character who we'll get to in a minute guys here is robert grunt graves who i would like to consider an army builder because of his generic nature he looks absolutely amazing and we're still dealing with plastic free packaging but i guess it's not so bad right now considering the fact that the artwork is just so amazing we actually get to see the characters in the shots so this is going to be a lot of fun here we have robert grunt graves he looks absolutely amazing guys definitely looks like one of those generic army builders that you see but this actually is a character from G.I. Joe he's appeared multiple times as a toy of course he's also appeared multiple times in the cartoon and he does look really well put together here he's of course wearing that standard army fatigues taupe green making him very well unfortunately generic in his overall appearance but that doesn't make him any less effective as a infantry soldier looking at him here he comes with a host of different accessories in his pack out he comes with one swappable head which looks like it could be again a generic head swap for an infantry trooper very similar to the way the airborne battalion but he also has that signature helmet of grunt as seen here he also comes with a host of different rifles including what appears to be a rifle similar to the ar-15s and a secondary rifle again i'm not too familiar with guns everybody so you'll probably know better than i will please let me know in the comment section below what these two guns appear to be he also comes with a standard sidearm pistol and one knife as well as a backpack which is very standard for robert grunt graves he looks really good in this particular pack shot and I'm really happy that we're going to be getting a sort of army builder to build up the G.I. Joe's ranks. I really appreciate everything that he comes with here. He's got that standard army uniform vest which has a whole bunch of different pouches in the front, probably ammo packs. It also has that unique radar device which is on the top of his upper right hand shoulder. Very similar to the way it looks on Falcon as well as Duke. He's even got a upper sheath where he can holster that knife of his. On the other side he has another area where he can put his sidearm as well as those side pouches and of course he is a reuse of multiple figures who have come across the line but a surprise figure for today just had no idea was coming out the gi joe team has been able to keep this one under wraps similar to the way they were able to keep the eels under wraps holy crap everybody it is the cobra snow serpents man these guys were totally unexpected but really do fall in line with the snow theme that they seem to be playing upon in their latest additions and releases these guys look absolutely ferocious and doubly so considering they have these crazy wolf skins that they're wearing on top of their backs. I'm amazed they actually went with this type of idea. I'm thinking that they're synthetic wolf skins. I'm really not 100% sure. But the fact that they do survive in sub-zero temperatures, you have to do what you have to do, I guess. 
you can see here that they are 100% an army builder and they do look freaking amazing in these wonderful photographs. I can't wait until we get these guys into our collections. Holy crap, everybody. The pack out for these guys indicates that they are, of course, a deluxe pack out. Oh my goodness, look at, the, look at everything that these guys come with. Obviously, they come with the snow serpents themselves in that traditional look that they have from the cartoon, from the original toy. They have multiple badges on the left and the right of their arms. They have that pouch accessories strapped to the front of their uniforms. They have all of that snow covered gear with additional fur laced shoulder pauldrons as well as forearms to protect themselves from the frigid winter cold. And of course, those crazy thigh pouches, which are able to holster several different weapons in each of them. And then we move on to the actual accessories themselves. There are a lot of them here, guys. They seem to have a surface-to-air missile or bazooka type of weapon, two sidearm pistols, one larger pistol with an actual scope, a pair of goggles, which they can use to block out some of the sun rays when they're reflecting off of the snow. They have one small knife, what appears to be a cartridge for that larger pistol. A backpack, which I imagine can holster some of these uh, weapons, especially these bazooka missiles, which I imagine are utilized in this bazooka itself. They also have, as we mentioned earlier, a wolf's head and wolf skin, which they use to keep warm under the most extreme temperatures. They even have snowshoes as well as a full snowboard which you can attach directly to their feet using the included peg system they even have a grenade launcher this guy is absolutely armed to the teeth and he's going to be a wonderful new addition to the gi joe classified line now i do have to question how they're going to be distributing this particular figure considering he was the one which was completely under wraps if he's anything like the cobra eels he might end up being an amazon exclusive or some other exclusive to target or walmart and a limited availability might be up tomorrow for pre-order on hasbropulse.com so guys get ready because the snow serpent was not announced in any capacity and he'll be the one to try and snipe tomorrow during yojo june once again guys i want to give a huge shout out to chaz the guru again chaz posted these one hour ago and i want to give a huge shout out to him for the heads up and if anybody tells you that he was not the first one to post these check the timestamps because you can tell that he definitely was the first one in line to get these up and announcing over to people for Yojo June. I will have affiliate links in the description below if they are available on Entertainment Earth. Guys, thank you so much for using those affiliate links. It really helps out the channel and I really do appreciate it. You guys are the best. Guys, Yojo June just continues to heat up with more figures and announcements. And we still have one more week to go before the end of Yojo June. Wow, guys, leaks just keep happening over and over and over again. It makes you wonder, doesn't it, where are these leaks coming from? I wonder if the G.I. Joe team is actually letting a few things slip through the cracks in anticipation of Yojo June. Guys, let me know in the comment section below. Are you going to be putting down your money for pre-orders tomorrow for Low Light, Grunt Graves, and of course, the Snow Serpents, which I think could possibly be a Hasbro PulseCon exclusive or an exclusive to either Amazon, Target, or Walmart? Or are you kind of fed up about this whole idea of chasing down these exclusives and these pre-orders that keep running out so quickly on Hasbro Pulse and the other exclusive places which they have partnered with? Let me know that in the comment section below, guys. If you enjoyed this episode, guys, please do leave me a like. It really helps me out. And if you're in the position to help out the channel, please consider checking out my Patreon page. It's Mega J Retro on Patreon. Guys, the patrons of the channel help me make wonderful episodes every single week and i couldn't do without them they are the best thank you so much for your support everybody it really means the world to me guys if any of these are available on entertainment earth i will have affiliate links in the description below so you guys can order your copy of any of these figures it really helps out the channel guys and i really do appreciate it i want to give another huge shout out to my good friend chaz the guru instagram please give chaz a like and a follow tell him that jay sent you i hope you're all doing well staying safe and as always, everybody, thank you very much for watching. Yo, Joe, everyone. Cobra. Good journey. Geek proud. I want to give a huge shout out to all my Patreon and channel member supporters. Thank you so much, everybody. It's thanks to your support that this channel continues to grow. And I really could not have done this without you. You guys are the best. Thank you so much for your support, guys. It really means a lot and really helps the channel to keep growing.